for me, I was involved in a lot of clubs growing up, like lots of the students that we see today in today's high schools. Um, but FFA was so different. Um, it was a place that I really felt like I could be me and I could belong. Um, you know, you, you get around a group of high school students that believe in the value of hard, we hard work and that really, uh, you walk into a room and they all honestly 100% believe that they can change the world and they know that they're going to and they can break it down into action steps and how um, that's going to happen and you just don't see a group of youth or a group of people for that matter that has that vision um, that belief and that optimism um, and drive to change the world. I think one of the coolest things about FFA is that it really instills that work ethic um, that you don't learn in a math class or a science class. Um, it's not a tangible takeaway from those core classes, um, but when it comes to hands-on education, that is agriculture education, uh, work ethic is just expected and it's something that is demanded from your teacher. And it's very interesting when I had jobs in college, a lot of times they would say, gosh, you know, we always get FFA or 4-H workers in here because um, we know that they have that work ethic. The coolest part about FFA is that it teaches you to be a leader and, and the true meaning of leadership, which is servant leadership. And taking on those qualities and those, um, those standards of excellence and living those day to day. It's not about bossing people around, it's not about um, the fame and the glory and the spotlight, uh, you learn very quickly that leadership is doing, it's action. And, uh, and I think that has really changed my whole focus in terms of what I want to do with my life, um, how I'm a leader in, in my workplace, in my home, in my community, and you know what I aspire to, that growth mindset that I have for the future.